Hi guys, it's Jack from Bridge Coffee Roasters. Today we're demonstrating this. It's the Cold Brew, a new brewer from Marco Beverage Systems. It allows you to produce incredible cold brew concentrate in under two hours. So today we're just gonna talk through the machine, show off all the different parts, and then get you set up with your first brew recipe. So traditionally, when you're making cold brew in a cafe, you're gonna grind really coarse, you're gonna let the water and the coffee ground sit together for about 24 hours, leaving it undisturbed. How this works and produces great coffee in two hours, you'll have a bed of coffee with the water slowly draining through it like you would in a normal pour over. So that lets you grind finer and extract much quicker than a normal cold brew. And the coffee acts as a natural filter, so the water will just pass straight through and you'll get cold brew at the bottom. So to give you just a quick run through of the machine, the bottom here is where your finished cold brew will collect. And at the top is the brewing section. So this is where you'll add your coffee grounds and the water will start going through. And then inside of the top part, we've got the shower screen. So the coffee sits on top of this and it helps act as a filter. So at the back here, we've also got a large tamper. And this is what you use to flatten and level the bed of coffee and to properly compact it down when you're ready to brew. And then towards the top of the brewer, you've got this screen that you'll interact with. So it'll say select brew method. On the left-hand side, you've got record. That's where you'll brew manually and then it will save what you're doing for later. Or you've got presets where you can create a new preset or select from a list. So to get started, I'm gonna show you how to create five liters of cold brew. We're gonna use five liters of water and 800 grams of coffee. So in here, I've got 800 grams of coffee. If you're using our cold brew bags, that's just one full bag and you can make up to 10 liters and that'll be two bags of coffee. And you wanna grind quite a bit finer than your normal cold brew, somewhere at a normal pour over setting. And if you choose to go with our cold brew coffees, this can all be weighed, measured and ground for you ahead of time. So on the EK43, I'm at grind setting seven. So once your grinder is ready to go, grab the top part of the brewer and make sure the shower screen's in the bottom. Put the brew underneath and then grind. I'm just gonna give it a quick shake just to level the bed. Grab your tamper from the back. And then the manual says to add just two kilos of force. And what that really means is that you barely need to press it down at all. And just make sure that the bed of coffee is nice and level. And then add the brewer to the top. We're gonna create a new preset. So hit the preset button, go to new, and it'll tell you to grind the coffee and then tamp it and add the brew chamber to the machine. And now we're gonna set the water level to 5,000 milliliters, or five liters, and hit next. And then the percentage of first water volume, that's gonna dictate how much of the water it will use in the first pulse. So the manual says, or recommends to start at 60%, so we'll go with that. And we're gonna set the brew time to two hours. And there it gives you a nice overview of your recipe and just press start. So you should now be able to see and hear the water level rising and your coffee brewing. Make sure that the two parts of the brewer are properly in line with the spout and the bucket lined up correctly. And after a few moments, you should start to see some coffee dripping through. So it looks like we've just finished brewing. It took about two hours and 10 minutes. I'll just put a cup underneath to catch any more drips. So the final great feature about this system is that when you finish your cold brew, you can connect it up to this dispenser tap. So the idea is that you can keep the brewer out of sight, out of mind, put the finished product down below the tap and you or your customers can either approach and at the press of a button, they can get some delicious cold brew concentrate. And then as this is a little bit stronger than filter coffee, they can either top it up with some cold water for an iced Americano or with some milk for an iced cold brew latte. So that's all we have time for today. If you've got a cold brew, then make sure to try out that recipe. Hopefully it's a great starting point for you. 
If you want to learn more about the cold brew and you haven't got one yet, then feel free to head to the link in the description and ask us about the cold brew. We'd be happy to tell you a bit more. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out and we'll see you next time. Ha, ha, ha.